members is the appointed time and we have a quorum. We proceed to election of chairman for the panel on information technology and broadcasting. As of the um, deadline for nomination, only one valid nomination was received for chairman of the panel. Dr. Junius Ho was nominated by Mr. Ma Fung Kwok and seconded by Mr. Ho Den Chow. Since um, Mr. Junius Ho was not elected chairman or deputy chairman of any other panel and any other government advisory body, according to the rules of procedure and house rules, I announced that Dr. Junius Ho is elected Chairman of the Panel on Information Technology and Broadcasting. Dr. Ho is not here yet. We now proceed to election of Deputy Chairman for the panel in the 2022 session. The Secretariat has informed members that as of the deadline for making nominations, only one valid nomination was received. I shall preside over election of deputy chairman as well. Mr. Duncan Chiu is nominated by Professor Sun Dong and seconded by myself. Mr. Duncan Chiu was not elected chairman or deputy chairman of any other panel, and he is not the chairman or deputy chairman of any related government advisory body. According to the rules of procedure and house rules, I announce that Doc Mr. Duncan Chiu is elected deputy chairman of the panel. First of all, congratulations, Mr. Chiu. I invite Dr. Junius Ho to preside over the remainder of the meeting. Apologies, um, I was late to the meeting. According to convention, the regular meeting of the panel on IT and broadcasting would be held on the second Monday every month from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Do members agree with um, staying with the convention? Ms. Elizabeth Quart? So um, we shall ad adopt the same time slot. Members, please take note of the um, notes to the schedule. The second Monday in April is reserved for the Finance Committee special meeting to examine the estimates of expansion 2022 to 23. Members may consider changing the date of that meeting to April the 19th at 4.30 p.m. Since May the 9th is public holiday, members can consider postponing the regular meeting in May to May the 16th, which is a Monday at 4.30 p.m. Any objections? If not, um, the dates of meetings shall be rescheduled as above. Items for discussion at the next meeting. Policy briefing. The Legislative Council meeting on February the 16th will include a motion debate on the policy address. In response to the administration's recommendation, the Secretariat has reserved a time slot on February the 14th from 2.30 to 4.00 p.m. for the Secretary for Innovation and Technology and Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development to brief the panel on the Chief Executive's 2021 policy address. Do members agree with this arrangement? The administration also proposed the following discussion items at the policy briefing. Public Works 
Reserves Fund Head 710 Computerization Subhead A007GX Block Allocation New Administrative Computer Systems. The estimates of expansion for 2022 to 23. Any other proposed items from members? And we can introduce those items on the agendas. Mr. Michael Lok. Are you just referring to um, the current year? We will first um, talk about the um, items we discussed this year. Art tech is something I care about. According to the National 45 Year Plan, Hong Kong will be an innovation and technology hub as well as a center um, where um, culture or a cultural center where East meets West. So um, that is why we must reinforce our INT industries. Um, products such as LFT, NFT can create plenty of business and employment opportunities. At the last policy address, um, the government um, touched upon these areas but they did not um, elaborate on it. Hopefully, Artec could be included on the agenda this year. Ms. Elizabeth Quad, Chairman, I believe we can have more than one discussion item next time. I have some suggestions on the discussion topics. We have the Smart City Blueprint 1.0 and 2.0. Hopefully the, the government can roll out Blueprint 3.0 very soon and consult the panel on the way forward. Another suggestion is to discuss 5G deployment. We know that 5G application infrastructure is very important to Hong Kong's future. Many um, suppliers ran into difficulties in deploying 5G and 5G infrastructure, so we want we should discuss 5G infrastructure and the relevant support programs. We have plans to extend fiber based um, networks to remote villages, uh, but very often the um, optical fibers um, could not. Um, enter the villages and that is why many villages still do not enjoy high-speed broadband access. Last year, last, um, well last year the government conducted a an interim review on TV and sound broadcasting. Hopefully um, the government can consult members views in the current session and consult the trade over the issue. So before the um, report is published, they should first consult us. I think um, the application of IT across different industries is an important topic. So apart from technology vouchers, how can the government facilitate the application of IT in different industries? Since time is limited, um, please um, limit yourself to three minutes each. Ms. Eunice Yong. Thank you. Given the current um, outbreak of COVID, we saw more than 200 preliminary positive cases today. So um, there are calls to further update the Leave Home Safe app. Earlier, we um, sent in a petition together with 15 members calling for an update or revamp of the app. So we believe the app should be updated um, based on the Deputy Chairman's request and tracing should be reinforced. As for the development of the Greater Bay Area at the House Committee, I requested the setting up of a subcommittee to um, cover technology development on how Hong Kong could be integrated in GBA developments. I believe the GBA strategy is very important. 
So in terms of our uh, manpower or talent hub, what plans does the government have? So they should talk about how Hong Kong can integrate ourselves in the plans of the GBA. Thank you. Mr. Kenneth Fogg. Thank you. As um, Mr. Michael Lok said, art tech is a very important theme. The policy address has earmarked $100 million on that. In the past, um, this issue was vested with the Home Affairs Bureau, but um, progress has been very slow. Seminars have been held for the IT and art sectors, but the um, actual um, implementation has been lacking. Hopefully, this could be improved in the coming year. Um, we are talking about the development of the sports sector or industry. Sports tech is picking up steam all around the world. And this covers the um, training of elite athletes and the sports industry as a whole. Technology plays a key role in that. Hopefully, this could be discussed. Mr. Peter Xiu, thank you. In 2019, the government implemented the Smart Lamp Post scheme and this would be conducive to many industries in Hong Kong through the use of technology, but the opposition camp at that time had um, badmouthed this initiative and at the end the scheme came to nothing. The government should um, reconsider um, resuming the scheme. Mr. Chen Hofong, thank you. At Hong Kong Island um, West, in a lot of remote um, areas, um, the network signals are poor, and the operators um, pointed to um, rising costs. So um, the network fees are very high in certain areas, and I believe this should be included on the agenda. The safety of social media platforms should be a priority. Uh, many data centers of social media platforms are not located in Hong Kong, and this involves um, legal and personal data privacy issues that should be covered. Mr. Tang Fei, thank you. I second the point made by Ms. Yuan Yong. We should reinforce the Leave Home Safe app with the fifth outbreak. Um, we do not know whether we could see a sex outbreak, so we must be very careful. In terms of uh, grooming IT talent or importing talent, um, indeed they are important, but we should place an emphasis on nurturing local talent for our INT industries as well. So in terms of curriculum reform, in Hong Kong or um, school learning, we should introduce more elements of IT education. This is the um, panel on IT and broadcasting. And um, in the aftermath of the black clad violence in 2019, media education is an important theme. But nowadays, the Education Bureau only relies on the QE fund for media education. And the schools could invite media organizations to deliver media education on campus, and this is inadequate. So in terms of broadcasting or media, we should um, discuss how media education could be reinforced. Mr. Duncan Chiu, I have a few points to make. Hong Kong will be de developed into an international INT hub the government should take the lead in um, procuring um, local technology products, and I'd like to know what the government has done. We talked about smart lamp posts and other, among other things. So um, data application and data security are very important. The mainland legislator um, for a data security act last year, and there are similar laws in Europe as well. I'd like to know the government's plans on that.
and in many um, projects involving technology, we saw plenty of issues um, in terms of coordination between different departments, and the government has been rather short-sighted in terms of the northern um, metropolis. Our um, ten-year roadmap for um, our technology policies, we have lacked a blueprint on long-term development. It's time the government comes up with a long-term policy or blueprint for the next ten to twenty years. Thank you. The Chief Wan Mr. Elizabeth Court, the second round, please. Thank you, Chairman. I would like to further follow up. Ms. Eunice Yong um, asked about the upgrade of Leave Home Safe app. I would like to extend the scope on the application for fighting the pandemic. We see that this time um, that the Leave Home Safe app does not have a tracking or follow up uh, function. And um, there are many issues um, at Penny's Bay because of lack of applications. The government is looking into promoting a vaccine passport, and I do suggest that there be a tracking function for that. I hope that the administration will be able to update us on this and as soon as possible. During the pandemic, the elderly have found it difficult uh, to use all this new technology. There is still a huge digital divide in Hong Kong. In the past, every year we talk about uh, narrowing the digital divide in society. However, not much has been done in recent years. So I hope that we'll be able to talk about it. Mr. Kichong, uh, Dr. Kichong, or uh, Last week, uh, President Xi, in one of the interview for a magazine, uh, talked about technology. I hope that we'll be able to do something in Hong Kong to try to integrate into the 14th five-year plan. In Hong Kong, we're talking about the uh, health code uh, between Hong Kong and uh, Guangdong Province. Actually, many people would uh, actually uh, try would change the health code when they cross, cross the border so i think that we should actually use the same health code for both hong kong and for across the border for those who have to shuttle across borders on a frequent basis they can they should actually be able to use one health code instead of both. Technology should convenient people and not uh, just to try to um, make it more difficult. Ms. Nixie Lam. There will be lots of development in technology in Northern Metropolis. Can the Secretary come and update us on the development over there? Ten members, including myself, have high expectations for the government. We are going to consolidate them, and I, together with the Deputy Chairman, will meet with the Secretary for Innovation and Technology and the Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development to set up our working plans for this session. Please submit your comments in writing and we would relay these to the two secretaries and incorporate them into our discuss discussion items. Any AOB? Uh, since there is no AOB, I now adjourn the meeting. Thank you.